Hello everybody! Welcome to the start of our weekend of sales. Today's actually Sunday, January 9th, so we're getting Saturday sales and Sunday sales all in one day. It's like a two for one for you guys. It's like more sales coming your way. Anyways, we have sales on all three marketplaces, so we hit the full house again. Um, starting with Macari and this. It's a hummingbird latch and hook kit. Not 100% certain exactly what latch and hook is, but I think it's like, yeah, I don't know. Has something to do with yarn and somebody that has a lot more patience than myself. Um, Sixteen dollars plus shipping came out of the Amazon returns box, so <laughs> inching closer to breaking even. But I don't think we're gonna get there ever. <laughs> On to Poshmark, and uh, still selling little sc Christmas squishmallows. This is that tree we sold a bunch of them. Um, Carol, that's right, Carol. Um, five inch mini squishmallow, ten bucks. Plus shipping. And we sold some teal pants. Here they are. Teal pants. Um, they are Vineyard Vines pants. Um, a good tag to keep an eye out for, for sure, is these Vineyard Vines pants. Um, they are sought after and hold their value pretty well. Uh, 20 bucks plus ship. Moving over to eBay. And this. It's a license plate. It's a United States license plate. Um... It is a um, U.S. Armed Forces in Germany plate. Um, year, I couldn't tell you. It's definitely not old. Um, it is steel, and the older, older ones are made from, like, a porcelain. So um, it's probably, I guess, 80s, 70s, 80s, somewhere around there. Um, watch when you're listing stuff like this, because certain things you're not allowed to list, because, like, um, you know, government vehicles and things of that nature, um, you can't list them because you... People will buy them and try to impersonate a government vehicle. So, uh, vin because this is vintage, we're okay. Twelve bucks plus shipping. So this, it's a Pittsburgh Panthers, like thermal, Not thermal. I guess it's more of a. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's a shirt. It's a plaid shirt. Um, Pittsburgh Panthers, right there. Brand new with the tags. Ten bucks plus shipping. Oh, this doll. I think this might have come out of the doll collection that we bought. It is a vintage doll. Yeah. Designer dolls are, you know, not a great resell. Um, you know, you see all these ones at thrift stores and boxes and things of that nature that were limited editions or they're, you know, uh, they're just not great for resell. This would be one of them. Um, this doll is a dress but Dolls by Pauline, Trudy Blue floral dress with sleepy eyes. I guess she goes, yeah, she does. She goes to sleep when you tilt her back. Anyways, um, fifteen dollars plus shipping for the ball. Next up, some shoes. These are Adidas running shoes. Um, they're pretty cool. We got these um, at a thrift store a while back, I believe. I don't think we actually bought these um, with that big shoe haul. They are size thirteen Adidas. Running shoes. Oh, you know, I know where we got these from. We got these from shopgoodwill.com. They came with a pair of Nike Air Force Ones, and I think there was another pair of black Nikes in there that we sold. Um, these were the last to go. Twenty-seven fifty plus shipping. Good, good flip on those. I think we paid uh, forty dollars for all three. And the Air Force Ones, they stayed with me because they were my size and they're they're my closet. So <laughs> anything, anytime I get something in my size that's in good shape, it's I'm keeping it. So, next up is this. This is a pillowcase. Make me late for breakfast. <laughs> pillowcase. That's right. It says, make me late for breakfast. Right on the pillowcase. Clever. Um, it's a Burlington. It looks vintage. It was made in the USA, so probably vintage. Um, anyways, fly-by-night pillowcase. New old stock. 12 bucks plus shipping. They keep saying, I think that's it. And then all of a sudden, we sell more. There's three more of these. Same guys buying all these. And we still have yet to figure out why I didn't just buy them all at one time. But three more um, stacks of these military Vin Vietnam magazines. Um, 1999, 1997, and 2001 are all in here. Um, $32 plus, plus shipping. It's an Under Armour shirt. Another Under Armour tank top. Where's it warm enough that 
people are buying this stuff. I guess in Florida you might be able to get away with it. Anyways, it's an Under Armour tank top. Uh, this had some, uh, oh no, this wasn't the one that had issues. Oh yeah, there's a, a little stainage right here at the top above the logo. So that's why it didn't sell for very much money. Ten bucks plus shipping. Sold a Nike golf shirt. It's right here. Nike golf shirt. Uh, polo shirt, size large, ten bucks plus shipping as well. Next up is actually down here, because I can't show you any of them. Um, they are a lot of nine. There are nine of them here. I'll show you the side. That's what I can do. Um, there's nine uh, issues of Playboy magazine. The front of all of them is not suitable for this video. So, uh, $20 for all nine. Plus shipping. I think this is the last we have of these. wish we could find more, because they did really well. These are old aprons from uh, hardware stores. Like the early 1960s through the 80s, I'd guess. 12 bucks plus shipping. This is a, a vintage workwear apron, Elizabeth Lumber in Pennsylvania. So 12 bucks plus shipping for the apron. So the Victoria's Secret uh, camo sweater, sweatshirt, or crew neck, I guess we call it. Um, size 2XL, 15 bucks plus shipping. Next up is these. Um, these are Nike... Free Train Instinct, Instinct training sneakers right here. Um, these came out of that large auction hall that we bought a whole bunch of shoes on. And they're, the thing with these, um, the, the auction was a buyout of an old business. And the business was secondhand, you know, things of that nature. Um, these must have been, and it, you're not going to be able to see it on camera because of the lighting in here, but um, this side is more orange than this side, and that's because, you can kind of tell a little at the top there, see how that's kind of like a deep orange, and then all you flip it and it's kind of a light orange over here? Um, they must have been sitting in the front window or something, and they got faded by the light. So size 10, these would have sold for a lot more money, but we sold them for $40 plus shipping with the box. Uh, retail on 130 bucks. So, size 10. So the corn shirt. It is corn worldwide graffiti shirt. Size extra large. Um, 10 bucks plus shipping. It's corn with a K. Big sale for the day. Comes in the form of this. Um, those of you that watch the channel regularly saw us pick this up months ago. It's a PS4. It's in here. Got a controller. Uh, has a power cord and the USB cord to charge the controller. Uh, no HDMI cord. Um, this stuck with us for a little while. Why? Because I wanted to play it for a while. So <laughs> we plugged it in and we played some games on it and had a good old time with it. And then the Xbox Series S showed up over the holiday and this got retired or sold, I should say. It's a PS4, 500 gigabyte. It's the slim PS4 with the cable and controller, $275 plus shipping. Still selling Christmas stuff. There's these uh, C9 a quarter bulbs right here. Uh, a lot of four of them. They're they're pink and red. Pink bulbs. Uh, they look red in the picture, but they are pink for sure. Twelve ten. Took an offer plus shipping. So this for the second time. Floral lace vintage square tablecloth uh, and embroidered napkins. Just a white tablecloth with some embroidered napkins. Um, Twelve bucks plus shipping. So the cabbage patch. This little girl. It's a 35th anniversary Cabbage Patch. Blue eyes, blonde hair. Um, newer Cabbage Patch, you can tell her hair is very orange. Um, she is, let's see, 2015 is a year on her. So newer Cabbage Patch, but because she's a 35th anniversary doll, she's worth a lot more money. She sold for $24.50. Blue shipping. Sold a coat. A friend of ours was... Uh, giving away some coats, and I said, you know what, let me buy them off you, because uh, we resell vintage clothing, and this was the first one to sell. It is a Summit Racing Equipment 35th Anniversary Coat, size extra large from 2003. 20 bucks for the coat, plus shipping. And last for today, a pair of sweatpants. These are uh, vintage sweatpants. They're Duckhead is the brand. Right there, Duckhead. Size large, Heather Gray sweatpants. 12 bucks. Plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today is the final day of our long weekend of sales. Today is Monday, 
January 10th and uh, hit the full house again. Uh, all three marketplaces had sales on a Macari, Poshmark, and of course, eBay. Starting with Poshmark um, and starting with these. These are Nike Air Jordans. Um, they are Nike Air Jordans. They are breakout men's Air Jordans. Um, gray and red right there. Um, look like they've really never been worn. There was some um, like tape stuck to them that we're going to try and clean off right there. Um, but other than that, they're in pretty good shape. Um, pretty good tread on them as well. Uh, 40 bucks plus shipping. Also sold this. Um, this is a K-Swiss jacket. Um, if I can get it to be right side up, there we go. K-Swiss jacket, new with the tags, uh, size large. Those tags right there. Um, 20 bucks plus shipping. And then we sold this guest shirt. It's a vintage guest shirt. Um, you can see the tag. The old, as far as guest goes. Um, guest, guest Originals t-shirt. Stripe maroon, um, Los Angeles guess. Uh, $21 plus shipping. Moving over to Poshmark. And this little girl. Um, this is a 1980s cabbage patch, uh, brown eyes, brown hair, and this precious sweatsuit with a can on it. Uh, adorable. Um, she had a few issues with her. There's some staining on her arms and it's some staining on her legs. So the reason she didn't sell for that much was because of those reasons. Still adorable, for sure. Yeah, sure. All right. Anyways, um, she sold for it. $15 plus shipping. Moving over to eBay and uh, sold the last one of these. This is at uh, Hershey's truck, um, die cast truck here. Um, yeah, it's just Hershey syrup truck. Um, we bought a bunch of these from our, from the auction that we go to rather frequently. And um, we've, we paid like $15 for the entire box. We just like probably like 30 of them in there. And we've, we're well into the pure profit on this deal. So we're starting to blow them out a little bit. $12 free shipping on this one. Sold a shirt. This is a vintage Burton snowboard shirt right here. Size medium. Uh, it's got a cut tag, so no tag on it, uh, but it is older. Um, double stitch size medium, nine bucks plus shipping would have gone for a lot more if it had a, uh, tag on it. Sarah picked these up at our latest thrift store trip. Um, they were a dollar. These are hand warmers by Zippo. Good time of year for something like this, for sure. Um, they were worth some money. Uh, sold both of them together, $24, so $12 a piece, plus shipping. Sold a women's Terry, Tara and, it's Tara and Sky. Um, size 1X, so it's like a stretchy hoodie. Still with the, new with the tags. Uh, 10 bucks free shipping on that. Sold some postcards. They are here. A couple of them up here. Um, these were the two more valuable ones. This is a vintage postcard. It's just uh, some trees. Yeah, that's well. If my camera would focus, you'd be able to tell that those are trees. Someday. It, there we go. Trees. Wonderful. Rustic Bridge, California, Berkeley is what that one is. And then this one is a door. It's <laughs> Dumpo's Restaurant. <laughs> Dumpo's Restaurant. There you go. There's the door of Dumpo's Restaurant. Cool door for sure. It's like Egyptian looking door at Dumpo's Restaurant in Berkeley, California. Um, $16.75 for two postcards plus shipping. So the beauty brush, this is that thing, those things that I don't know anything about. It's Carmides beauty brush right there. It's a brush. You put your makeup on with it. I think so. There you go. Um, $14 for the brush plus shipping. It didn't sell for a lot of money, but I figured I'd show it to you guys because it's adorable. Um, you saw Sarah pull this out of the box. Cabbage Patch is just a little tiny cabbage patch collectible 
uh, kids and kids are us price tag so even got the vintage no longer exists price tag on the back um 650 plus shipping for that sold a t-shirt crazy shirts hemp dyed t-shirt um it's here i don't think this is vintage um anyways it's a hawaiian shirt well made in hawaii shirt and it uh has their logo on the front and then uh their logo on the back right there um size extra large 12 bucks plus shipping sold this little boy you know if there's one there's more than one right here so this little boy with this awesome sweater um 1980s cabbage patch um boy with auburn hair and brown eyes he also got little frog stuffy to go along with it precious um anyways he's got the two bottom teeth which is kind of rare sold for 23.50 plus shipping next up is this it's a fuzzy hat it's a newsboy fuzzy hat size 57 sarah's description is funky it's kind of fuzzy it's got the tag still on the back of it 10 bucks plus shipping for that sarah found this at the bins and i said buy it because it's gonna sell it's a roethlisberger um super bowl xl shirt it was the first super bowl he won um uh, jerome bettis's last super Bowl, well, last game um anyways this is size extra large it's a reebok pittsburgh steelers ben roethlisberger jersey the playoff bound pittsburgh steelers currently um right there 28 bucks plus shipping for some big ben memorabilia sold some victoria's secret pants these are sweatpants by victoria's secret well pink it's got the pink logo on the side 16 bucks plus shipping if you guys see victoria's secret stuff out there you should definitely grab it because it is expensive i bought sarah some victoria's secret gifts and i spent a lot of money over christmas in that store and that poor lady that had to help me she followed me around the whole store and helped me because i i don't know what i'm doing in that store next up is this kid um he's valuable this is a Jessmar Cabbage Patch doll. So made by the Jessmar factory, says Jessmar on the back of his head. If you guys see that on the back of the head, it says it's J-E-S-M-A-R. If you see that, that Cabbage Patch is going to be worth some money. Like this little guy. Um, he sold for $48. Plus shipping. All right, guys, and that's going to wrap it up here for this week. Um, coming up on the channel, there's some scheduling changes. Uh, for the live show just this week we'll go back to our normal schedule next week but this coming thursday sarah and i will not be here we're out of town we're going to see, see amish country in ohio um so we will be there for a couple days and then we'll be coming back that following saturday and uh chances are good we're either going to be live i haven't officially decided this we'll make an announcement uh, as soon as we know it's either going to be saturday we're going to be live or monday we're not 100 percent certain because unfortunately well unfortunately for me but unfortunately for you guys the Steelers did make the playoffs and they have a Sunday night game uh, against Kansas City so um, you know we have a Pittsburgh audience so we're gonna try and cater to it I know a lot of you aren't from Pittsburgh but we do have some Pittsburgh people and I'm a Steeler fan so I'd like to watch the game so anyways so either Saturday or Monday we will be live um, so and then next week we'll go back to our usual schedule of Thursday and Sunday so just some house uh, keeping announcements there for you guys um yeah and that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching bye good day sir